Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Come on, everybody. You knew we had to do it. <laughs> we had so much fun with the first Ace Attorney game, we have decided to do a Let's Play of the second one, and we're recording it pretty soon after the first game. Yeah, pretty soon. So for those of you who don't know us, I'm Colorful Artie. And I'm Marty. Yep, we so... We're two siblings. We're going to be playing through Phoenix Wright Justice for All Did today. not know that was the title until it appeared. <laughs> yep, Phoenix Wright Justice for All. This is the sequel to the Ace Attorney uh, Let's Play we did a while ago. And I'm just going to say this, first off, if you're watching this Let's Play, I'm assuming you either have watched our Let's Play of this, or you've played the first game yourself. Or we, seen a different Let's we're Play. We're going to probably be like, oh yeah, remember how in the first game, remember Master Spoilers? spoilers? So, yeah. if you haven't played that, here's your chance to back out now. Also, I feel like I should give a little bit of background. This was the first Ace Attorney game I ever played. I played okay. this before the first Phoenix game. Wright won. All right. I, yes. Just Ace Attorney. Correct. Um... And then I, the only, I've never played any of the games, but I did a Let's Play with Artie for the first game. That was the only experience I've really had with Ace Attorney, and then I've seen one episode of the anime, which then Artie that told me to cover. stop. That doesn't cover. Right, and Artie told me to stop watching, so I wouldn't know anything else. Yeah, because yeah. here's the thing, normally I would never do a Let's Play like this. But the reason I'm doing it is because Marty hasn't played it before. Right, so, so I get, you get all of the amazing um, content and, like, the, wow, this is the first time I've seen this, and then you also get the wonderfulness of we know how to actually play and beat the game, because and, Marty knows how to beat and, the game. And because I'm a boy and she's a girl, we can do decent voice acting for the well, game. Well, hopefully. We'll see how that goes <laughs> this time. Yeah. It's been a little while. Anyhow, bad people are like, come on, just start already. Yeah, All right. let's start. So I'm excited. Uh, Let's start with the first case. It was episode one, The Lost Turnabout. The so, Lost Turnabout? Yeah, a lot of people don't like this one, but because this is the very first case I ever played, I actually really appreciate it, because okay. it's, it's just, like, so blatant and, like, oh, remember how you need to you do, do this? this? But, that's but nice I appreciated that, because I hadn't played it before. Lost Turnabout. And it still does a good job, and it's pretty funny. Phoenix it's, Wright, it's a Lost much, in the Crowd. It's a big improvement over the first case of the first game, I would say. Oh, All but right. the first case of the first game is, like, 15 minutes. You could go through it in 15 This minutes. one's a lot longer than that. Okay, sweet. Alright, three, two, one, go. Yeah! <laughs> <sighs> How did I get into this mess? Oh my gosh. That's far enough! You can't run forever, Mr. Phoenix Wright! <laughs> Is this a bad dream? Oh my gosh! Well, what have I done wrong? This is the best. I cannot allow you to go on like this. The judge from the first but, game. But I'm just a simple defense attorney. Silence! You are no longer <laughs> worthy of your title. The judge is just Zeus. <laughs> or Thor with his hammer. Well, what an intro, huh? <laughs> September. Okay, I'm glad though that it wasn't like, boom, blood. I wonder who it could be. Is oh, we might get that. Oh, we might get that. I don't okay. know. <laughs> Actually, I do know, but I won't spoil it. September okay. eighth, nine oh eight a.m. District Court, defendant lobby number one. All right. <laughs> hey. Get your shoes off that couch, Phoenix. What a he slept on the couch. What a right. nightmare. And I bet it was this ringtone that caused it. I really shouldn't be dozing off right before a trial starts anyway. Yeah, no kidding. Huh? Looks like they hung up. Ah, good. I finally found it. What the? Talk about a close call. I hate to do this to you, but... It's nothing personal, Mr. Attorney. Ugh. They're ugly. I think he might be he the killer. <laughs> a few minutes later, district court, defendant lobby, number one. And that, what I like is after this game, they rarely do the whole, like, oh, we know who did it at the beginning, okay. which is nice. That's good. Some of the cases in the first game, you don't have that, but... Ouch. My head, it's throbbing. Did the dude bang him on the head? Why does it feel so foggy in there? Yeah, he did. Oh, 
who the heck is this? Okay. Um, you, obviously. Uh, yeah, but I'm trying to think of what to get do for her. Oh, also, new game, new music. Okay. Good morning! Back! Uh, g good morning? What's wrong? You don't look well! People are at their best first thing in the morning! Where's that fighting spirit? Sorry, but can you please turn the cheeriness down? My head sort of hurts. Roger that! Um, am I in trouble or something? Huh? Trouble? W wait never mind. You're a policewoman, right? I thought maybe I had done something wrong? Wh what are you talking about? I'm the one in trouble! What? I'm placing my life in your hands today, Mr. Phoenix Wright! Life in my hands? You promised me! You said you would prove that I was not guilty! N not guilty? Just when I thought all hope was lost, when all the other lawyers had laughed me off! Leave it to me, you said! You, the one and only Phoenix Wright, came to save the day! And just like that I was moved to tears, sir! I'll never forget what you're doing for me, ever! What is this girl babbling about? Actually, I really love to watch court proceedings, and I'll always root for you to win! When I'm off duty, I like to come here and... What's wrong? You've been acting really strange and you keep staring at me. You're making me kind of nervous, sir. Oh, sorry. Hmm, I'm afraid to ask, but here goes. So, this might sound bad, but, uh, who are you? WHAT?! Mr. Wright, how can you say that? How can you do this to the fragile heart of a girl about to go on trial? You're absolutely horrible! No, I mean, I didn't mean it like that! Is this how a defense attorney treats his client, sir? I can't believe this! No, it's just... Well, I think you've got the wrong person. I'm... Yes? I'm... I'm... Who am I? Why am I drawing a blank? Amnesia! Ooh! So people think that this is like a really cliche and terrible plot. I thought this is great! <laughs> Again, first case. I first did. case. I was about to say, I'm like, if this dude loses his memory. Anyway. <laughs> the trial will begin shortly. Will the defendant and her lawyer please proceed to the courtroom immediately? The trial's about to start. I'm counting on you in there, okay? Hmm. I guess I must have amnesia. Well, how do you... Let's see. What can I piece together? Hmm. From our conversation, I can safely say that I'm probably a defense attorney. And that girl. I said I'd prove her not guilty? I can't believe I made such an irresponsible promise. Oh, boy. Ah! Someone, please! Tell me this is just a bad dream! Why do I get the feeling this is one dream I won't be waking up from? Mm -hmm. September 8th, 10 a.m., sharp. District Court, courtroom number two. Well, at least the judge is back. Oh, Winston Payne. Great, I gotta do that. Court is now in session for the trial of Maggie Bird. Alright, also I want to say, this is like the best court start theme ever. I do like this. This really sounds like it's actually a court. It took me forever to realize, but um, the back thing has like the weighing. Did you think it was like a face? I, th I thought it was a face. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> or just like a stained glass thing, but that makes more sense. The prosecution is ready, your honor! By popular opinion, quite literally, Marty gets to one, be in pain's one face One popular time. opinion. Maybe everyone else didn't want it, but yeah. Too bad. There aren't a lot of female characters in this case, so... Yeah. What is it, Mr. Wright? Um, uh, are you talking to me? Do you see any other defense attorneys here? I guess not. <laughs> now then, are you ready? No. Yes. No. Here's the thing, like I did in the first game, I kind of want to show off as much of the dialogue as I can in this game. Right. Because I know in the first game, like, about maybe a third of the time, it's like, oh, that was pointless. But then the other two thirds of the time, I'm like, I'm so glad I chose yeah, all the right, right. stuff. <laughs> so... No, we're not ready. So you're saying, no, we're not ready. No. Right. This dude just got amnesia. Um, what if I said no? Would that be all right? <laughs> of course it wouldn't! <laughs> then why bother asking to begin with? 
Actually, you see, Your Honor, my memory is kind of... <laughs> then if we say yes... Okay. I guess I should say yes for now. Are you ready, Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Wait a sec. If her life is in my hands, I should really do the responsible thing. <laughs> Actually, you see, Your Honor, my memory is kind of... The court will not hear the defense's excuses. Well, that seems like a bad idea. Yeah, that seems like a bad idea. Because the defendant is a member of the police, this case is under great scrutiny. Great. Therefore, we must make this trial fair but swift. I believe I have told you this before. I hope you're not telling me you've forgotten. Actually, I did. <laughs> Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. Yes, Your Honor! As I'm sure you're well aware, the defendant is accused of killing her lover. I cannot do this right now, I'm so bad. What's worse, her lover was a fellow police officer! <laughs> yeah, this I know! Is amazing. No, this, this is, is the bad. best fate ever. <laughs> no, this is bad. I'm doing charge action! A policeman? You did what to a policeman? It wasn't me! And besides, Dustin and I, we weren't lovers like that. In any case, the prosecution will prove that the guilty party is none other than the defendant! <laughs> this is changing every time you do it, it's it great. Is. I, I, <laughs> if I'm you sure. want to back out and me. No, I'll, if, okay. if necessary. Alright. Whatever. Very well. Mr. Payne, please call your first witness. <laughs> it's been a while, Mr. Wright. Let's see what you've learned since last time. I won't show you any mercy this time, rookie! Okay? And who are you again? <laughs> Please break Detective Dick Gumshoe to the stand. Here we go. Don't let me down, Mr. Wright. Nowhere to hide. I'm so dead. Hey, Gumshoe. Witness, please state your name and occupation. My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. You don't look very well, Detective. Well, sir, the defendant, she works under me, so, you know. You work under that detective? Yes, sir. And while I was a trainee, he was always watching out for me, sir. He's such a wonderful guy, sir. I'll never forget what he's done for me. Okay, calm down. I believe you. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like the Wizard of Oz. Not even a little. <laughs> to me, it seems like it. I am Oz! No, not that dude. Like, the Wizard of Oz... Outside of the wizard head? Yeah. Wonderful. They'll, They'll call me wonderful. wonderful. <laughs> oh, that. Yes, yeah. sir. It happened at the park near headquarters. Expose Park. <laughs> wow. Expose Park. The victim was one of the local cops, Dustin Prince. Get it? Like, he's Dustin Prince. Oh. Like fingerprints? I did not get it until you said that. He was pushed down from the benches on the upper path, sir. The landing beat his body up bad and snapped his neck. Oh, that's great. The details are listed in the report that was distributed yesterday. Ah, uh, yes. This autopsy report, correct? Why do I not remember getting a copy? I see everything is in order here. Even the estimated time of death is unusually well documented. Hmm, that's suspicious. The victim's watch stopped from the impact of the landing, sir. The results of the autopsy confirmed the time of death. If I may, Your Honor, the prosecution would like to submit this photograph. Very well. The court accepts it into evidence. Crime photo one added oh, to the court okay, record. okay, we still got our attorney's badge. We've got a phone. <laughs> whatever else that thing is. Oh, yeah, we should really check that, probably. We'll do it in eventually. Now then, I recall at yesterday's preliminary hearing... A very important piece of evidence was brought to our attention. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Yes, I guess? <laughs> Mr. Wright, is your head on right today? Honestly, Mr. Duncan, where is your head today? today. <laughs> there was a very crucial piece of evidence found under the victim's oh, body. Oh, so this is after a day of the This of the is trial? like a preliminary hearing, so technically not the real trial. Oh, not the real trial. But okay. this is, yeah, they were all meeting yesterday. Um... Was there? Have you lost your mind? Well, actually... Um, it's just nerves. Give me a second. What?! How can you talk like such an amateur? I thought you were a pro, sir. Alright, sir. I'll help you through this. 
At a time like this, maybe you ought to take a glance at the court record. Court record? Also, your voice for Maggie Bird is like, it's kind of jumping between Emma Sky, Lana Sky, and, and a little, a little Penny, of, yeah. Penny Nichols. Yeah, okay. Court record? Yep. Info, info about the evidence and people involved with this case are all listed there, sir. You can look at the court record by touching the court record button. The court record button? You really know what you're talking about, huh? It's too bad I'm a cop, right? Just think, I could totally be a legal aide instead. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Court is in session. Save your chit-chat for later. S sorry, Your Honor. Well, I guess I'd better check the court record and see what I can find. When did you first play this, by the way? Oh, uh, when I was like 11. 11? Okay. <laughs> it was kind of a dark game for an 11 year old. To I was play. about to say, I'm like, <laughs> I was really little then. This game also is arguably darker than the first game, believe it or not. Not this case. Blood! <laughs> Dead like, people! Less swearing, but darker themes. I'm sure. So, we've got the most important piece of evidence by far our attorney's badge. It's my all important badge. It shows that I am a defense attorney. Cell phone. I found this in my pocket, but I don't remember what it means or how it got there. Dustin's autopsy report. Time of death, September 6th at 6.28 p.m. <sighs> Cause, broken neck. Body also is covered in bruises. Broken neck. Glasses. Found under the victim's body. Pieces of nearsighted lenses were found nearby. Crime photo one. The victim fell from the walking path above. Now we can look at that. How did they get that photo, I wonder? He took it after he was dead. Oh, after he was dead. I was like... That's amazing. Okay. And then we can also go to oh. profiles, and in this game, you can present profiles as well as evidence. So that's oh, gonna make things more tricky. Oh, okay. So we got Maggie Bird, she's 22. Oh, same age as me, nice. My client, the only thing I can recall is that she's a policewoman. Okay. Dustin Prince, 30, what? Oh, that's okay. That's the most generic looking guy I think I've ever seen. <laughs> he is very generic. <laughs> the victim and a policeman, it seems that he was dating the defendant Maggie Bird. He's, he's quite a bit older than she is, I mean, they're both they're both over twenty, so I, that's a less of a big yeah. deal. But yeah, well, and she said it wasn't quite like that. So it they were something. dating though, but they weren't like the romantic couple. Or anything. Okay. Winston Payne, fifty-three. The prosecutor for this case lacks presence. presence. Generally bad at getting his points across. Like me. <laughs> and it's like we're the same. Dick Gumshoe, person. thirty-one. Detective at the local precinct He's in only charge 31? of the initial investigation. Oh, uh, he looks like ten years older. Oh yeah. I'm okay. so glad Gumshoe's back. Yeah, me too. What was it again? The court record button. <laughs> We're saying this so many times in orange, so you know it's important. Yep. All right, Mr. Wright, let's see if your notes are in order. What was the piece of evidence found underneath the victim's body? Much like in the last game, if your penalty like thing isn't shown, you can answer Is whatever you want, ones? and they won't penalize you, so we'll say all this stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a wallet. This is a court of law! You can't just make wild guesses! Agreed. You're right, Mr. Wright. You have to check the court record before you answer. I did. I just did. You don't. Your client might end up with a guilty verdict. Your client? You do realize that's you, right? Why she's worked up about it. I will it. ask you one more time. What was the piece of evidence found under the victim's body? A police badge. If he's a cop, then I guess maybe a badge or something. Objection! <laughs> Mr. Wright, please stick to the facts of this case. Objection! He is a policeman, correct? I don't think you understand the problem here. <laughs> I made you sweat anyways. I will not have an uninformed lawyer in my court. Yes, your honor. Guess there's no fooling those two. Please, for my sake, look at the court record, sir. Uh, it's the court record button, right? <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> That's simple, your honor. A broken pair of glasses. If it's so simple, why did you take it free? He guesses. <laughs> That's right. The victim grabbed the criminal's glasses as he was being shoved, sir. And held onto them as he fell. Hey! What are you giving me this evil eye for? Those glasses you're wearing. <sighs> yes, this is my spare pair. But these glasses they found at the scene are at the crime, I swear, are not mine. You sure about that? Look, it was a coincidence that uh, on this. It was a coincidence that on the same day I accidentally stepped on mine. A coincidence, she says. <laughs> Your Honor, I have further evidence to present. Oh, you have more? 
and this evidence is very decisive! Very well. Let's hear from our witness about this evidence. First testimony of the game! I was about to say, I'm like, do we evidence. actually have, like, the testimony testimony Yeah, thing? we had okay. to get through all, like, the tutorial stuff. Oh, well, we're still not through the tutorial stuff. There's something even more incriminating than the glasses under the victim's body, sir. I love the testimony music. Man. This is so sad. Oh, it gets even sadder. Oh, wait, are you seeing the music? Yeah. Oh, wait, <laughs> when it gets, like, more, uh... Because there are the two different cross-examinations. Right. The second one is a lot sadder than this. Oh, great. During his date, the victim was pushed from the bench area, but he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground where he landed. He was paralyzed! <laughs> yeah, he had his neck. <laughs> I don't like saying it, but it was clearly the defendant's name. Maggie, sir. With this piece of evidence and the glasses, it's hard to say she's not the culprit. This is a picture of the lighting, your honor! Blah. Why, this is... Yes, I can see the name is clearly written here. Is that sand? Yeah. Okay. The prosecution would like to submit the picture. Understood. The court accepts it into evidence. Crime photo 2 added to the court record. As if the glasses alone didn't make you suspicious. The victim even wrote your name clear as day on the ground. But, 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 I already told you those glasses aren't mine. And how do you explain his dying message? It's a conspiracy! I'm not guilty, sir! I love how every time she's just like, I'm gonna smile. <laughs> just, just look like I'm fine. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Cross-examine? This is it. I'm counting on you. Sure, but what am I supposed to do? What?! This isn't like you at all! Did you even play the first game? <laughs> Normally, this is the part where you get in the witnesses' faces. Get in their faces and do what? Because there's no way around it. Okay, I'm going to lend you a hand. The prosecution's witnesses always hide things from the court. Which means they lie from time to time. Lie? But isn't that detective your superior? Well, even if they don't mean to lie, sometimes people just remember things wrong. Hmm. Like that detective, he does look sort of like a scatterbrain. It doesn't matter! Either way, it's bad for us, sir. That's why when you question witnesses, you have to find and expose their lies! Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Y yes your Honor. Talk about trial by fire. Here goes nothing. As long as I can expose the lies, we should be alright. Hey, Mia, can you, like, come back to his brain or something? <laughs> his brain. No, that's, like, In basically... your brain. brain. No, that's <laughs> basically what happens. Well, maybe she will. There's something even more incriminating than the glasses and the victim's... <gasps> Holy! <laughs> hmm, about those glasses, do you have any proof that those belong to my client? The lenses are for nearsightedness and are almost the same strength as hers. Even the frames look kind of like the one she's wearing at her ID, uh, pal. Hmm, what should I do now? Continue um, pressing, leave it be. Okay, if there's one thing I know about, it's glasses, because I wear them, sometimes. <laughs> not or, right now. Not right now, I'm wearing contacts. Um, it, were they, like, reading glasses, or were they regular prescription glasses? For nearsightedness, so uh, I believe that's for, like, seeing people's faces and then stuff that's close to you. Okay, you so if, if that's nearsighted... I can't, def I can't remember if nearsighted remember. means you have a hard time seeing things that are near to you, or that you can only see things okay. that are near you. I so, can't, I can't if remember. She, if she has a tough time seeing things up close, they usually don't personalize them for you. They're just like, here's your... <laughs> they're just like, here's your strength, and here's your glasses, and like, mm -hmm. 50 people could have the same pair, versus like, if it's a prescription for far away. <laughs> Should we press it or not, though? That's, um, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to figure out. Is like maybe they're not hers, or maybe they totally are. Let's try pressing. Hold it! Almost and kinda are not good enough in a case like this. Uh, um, do you have more definitive proof? Is there something that clearly links the defendant with those glasses? Uh, um, uh, the dirt and sand rubbed out any traces of fingerprints or anything else. So what you are saying, Detective, is that you have nothing that proves those glasses are my clients. Considering, uh, Phoenix Wright has amnesia, he's doing pretty well! Uh, something like that. W what? I see. Hmm. 
so there is no proof. Wow, that was amazing! I could totally feel it down in my gut. Oh, so you have like a health bar. Yeah, that's but actually like... one thing I really like about this game. Instead of having like five exclamation points, that's five HP, you have a bar. So it's sometimes over here. Oh yeah, like you messed up a little bit here. So you will do like 10% of your bar. Oh, and some, But there are some parts of the game where it's like, you have one chance. Get it rolling and boom, instant game over. Oh. So this game's a lot more punishing with the penalties. But it's right. also, yeah, I think it works much better in the long run. Okay. We're in real trouble if those glasses really are hers. It's probably better to back out while we can. Ah! <gasps> Why don't you believe me? <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> now, you're sure he was pushed and that's how he fell? Yeah, pal. If you look at the wounds on the victim's body, there's no way it was anything else. Hmm. Please continue with your testimony, detective. Anyway, the victim fell pretty far. But he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground where he landed. The culprit's name? Yeah, I was surprised too. I didn't want to believe it, but... Was the name that of my client? Maybe he knows too, Max! I don't like saying it, but it was clearly the defendant's name, sir. Are you absolutely certain? Sorry, pal, but that's what it said. This is a picture of it. No matter which way you look, it still says Maggie. Hmm, he's got a point. Hey, hold on! Huh? Don't claw me! I know the picture says Maggie, but... Now that she mentions it, something does feel kind of off about this picture. That's how you know... You found a contradiction! Now hurry up and present some evidence! So that's what spotting a contradiction feels like. I'd better check the court record again. Good thing the police gal <laughs> knows a lot about yeah, this. Because Maya is still not here. <laughs> Maya's in training. Edgeworth's off partying. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know if he's coming back or not. Um, <laughs> yeah, and, and Larry, Mia's, Larry's Mia's got dead. a new girlfriend. Yep. Probably. You go, and girlfriend. Are, are you certain that it was the victim who wrote the name on the ground? There were scratches on his fingers from the rough sand. And there were grains of sand stuck under his pointer fingernail. Hmm. It certainly seems that the name was written by the victim himself. That didn't go well. If it really was him, then we're in a lot of trouble. Don't give up! Keep that fighting spirit going! I'm glad you're all pumped up, but... I really want to see your special move, sir! My what?! You always look so cool when you present evidence! You look so cool when you <laughs> present <a> evidence! <laughs> present evidence? Oh, that? Present evidence! Enlighten me. <laughs> Are we doing both? Yes. Okay, then just pick. Um, about this presenting evidence... Okay, when you're listening to a testimony, you can compare it in with the court record. If you do that, you're sure to find a contradiction in the witness's statement. Contradictions? Well, there are many reasons why a testimony might contradict the evidence. The witness might be lying, or maybe they're just mistaken. Uh-huh. And? You still have no idea what I'm talking about? When you find a contradiction, open up the court record to see the item you need, and then- And then I present that evidence, right? You got it. You can also present people's profiles as evidence. So many items, make sure you present the right thing. No, more, long gone are the cases where we only have like six pieces of evidence now. <laughs> I mean, I, that was at like only one case where we had six No, pieces. still samurai case, even wait for a time we had that. Yeah. Hmm, sounds complicated, but I'll give it a try. You're pretty good at this. Wow, being praised by a pro. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, that present evidence. Actually, I was just thinking about that. Yes, that's great. Great Phoenix Wright is back! Oh, that's right. Huh? I heard that lately you can present not only evidence, but people's profiles as well. It sure makes things a bit more complicated, so be careful, sir. People's profiles, huh? Alright, let's give this another try. Alright, so, do you know where it was? I mean, if he broke his neck, I think it's weird that he was able to write her name. But, I don't know how to- This is the one they said it was on, so... Okay. Check, uh... 
uh, the topsy. A topsy turvy. Body was covered in bruises. Okay, profiles. Yo. Yo. Why do you wear three barrettes? It's a little strange. Okay, um, next. Let's go to generic guy. <laughs> Dustin Prince. Um. He's like the Ken of the game. See, this is not really helping <laughs> because. Wait, is he wearing glasses? No. No, he's not. See, this isn't really helping because they're just like, hey, it's this dude because your memory's gone. Um, okay. Uh, probably evidence again. Oh. <sighs> it's been a while. Oh, it's probably in one of the photos. Blah. They're, um. Are his eyes open? His eyes are open. <laughs> That's strange. I don't think they are. I think that's just the lighting. Oh, okay. His hands there. If so, he has no pupils. Which... How is he able to, like, be so flexible that he could be like, <laughs> and write her name? <laughs> that's what you're thinking? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, obviously someone grabbed his finger and was like, <laughs> like doing that, because that's apparently what half of these crimes are at this point. Um, but let me see the other crime photo. Okay. Fell from the path. Why is there sand? I don't know, it's, it's a park. It's a park. Also, it oh. totally looks like there's a horse up there. It does. <laughs> Yay. It's just the best. Telephone though. booth? Yeah, what about okay. it? No, I'm nothing. I am completely clueless, and I feel bad about that. Oh, it's differently spelled. Yeah. There you go. I was like, wait! <laughs> there we go. Do it. Oh my gosh. What is it? I thought he was gonna pass out for a second. What? What's come over me? Without thinking, I just boarded out objection. And I yelled it at the top of my lungs! Fingers <laughs> outstretched, ready to take on my opponent! <laughs> what a rush! <laughs> Detective Gumshoe! You. You talking to me, pal? Please state the defendant's name for me. What are you trying to prove with this futile exercise, Mr. Wright? You'll see. This is a very crucial line of questioning. Actually, Mr. Payne, you can answer the defendant's name, if you please. W where is this ridiculous question coming from? The defendant's uh, name is, uh, Maggie Bird. I think someone needs to check the court record. What? It says right here that it's Maggie Bird! <laughs> it looks like the cut bird caught the cat napping. What's going on here? I have no idea either, sir. There's nothing funnier than making him scream. <laughs> As you can see, the victim did indeed leave the name Maggie. However, the defendant's name is actually spelled Maggie with an E-Y. This is a blatant contradiction of facts. Who spells their name? Oh! Why? Sorry if your name's Maggie. Oh, how about but... that? I hadn't even noticed. But, 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 but maybe the victim didn't know how to spell her name correctly. But they dated. <laughs> May I remind you that it was you who said the defendant is accused of killing her lover? If they were truly lovers, it would be impossible for him to not have known her name. <laughs> I love the objection theme. I like the first one better, yeah. but this one's really catchy, it's too. It's more iconic, I think. This is very true. <laughs> he, the judge agrees with us. <laughs> Mr. Payne? Y yes your honor Are you absolutely certain that the defendant and the victim, Dustin Prince, were, in fact, lovers? Y yes I am quite certain, your honor They were a well-known couple in the police force! Uh, but they were like, Oh, but it's nothing! <laughs> This is basically high school in a nutshell, where it's like, Hey, I heard that Tori and Richard are dating, and they're like, No! No, really, it's not anything! And, yeah. We just, yeah. <laughs> we're like, Cooties. Oh, Tori and Richard, but... <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, please testify for the court the relationship between the victim and, and the defendant. Yes, sir. Witness testimony, Dustin and Maggie. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> 
Officer Prince and Officer Bird had been going out for about half a year. Well, that's a lot for some. It sounded like they were even talking about marriage. Wow. The day of the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. Oh, that's really sad. He died on his birthday. <laughs> that would be very sad. Maggie, I mean, Officer Bird had gotten Officer Prince a present. It was something she had gotten over two months ago. I should know, because she came to me to ask what she should get for him. That's good planning. If you don't know what to get, guys, presents... You ask, I ask big, Gumshoe. You ask, ask, a, ask your local detective. No, <laughs> but ask a close dude bro friend. But make sure that close dude bro friend isn't harboring secret feelings for you and he'll try exactly. to sabotage you. Exactly. <laughs> oh, those two sound like they were close. Nevertheless, tragedy struck. Hmm. Yes, I see. You may cross examine the witness, Mr. Wright. Cross examination, Dustin and Maggie. Okay, look at him, the bottom screen. He looks like the nerdiest prosecutor. Like, <laughs> the nerdiest prosecutor to be a nerd. Officer Prince and Officer Bird had been going out for about. Hold it! How long? How do you know about this? Every year in March, we have a training camp for us cops. Officer Bird was a rookie at the time, and she and Officer Prince seemed to hit it off. They got close, I take it. Actually, I was supposed to go too, but. I couldn't pay the deposit for the trip, so I didn't. What day is it right now in this court? I don't know. If only I had gone on that trip. What is it? Oh, uh, nothing, sir. Really. Anyhow. What if he likes her? <laughs> oh. What if, yeah. <laughs> Literally, what if what you said is exactly what's happening here? Marriage? But wasn't the victim eight years older yeah. than her? What? You're saying a guy's gotta marry someone the same age as himself, pal? No, that's not what I meant at all. Detective Gumshoe and Dustin were only a year apart, you know. Ugh. I think this fella has a ways to go before marriage. Mind your own business, pal! The day of the incident just happened to be the victim's <gasps> birthday. Eef. The day of the incident? You mean September 6th? Okay, so it's September 6th, and they met in March. It's a really short period of time, I feel like. They haven't been dating that long, yeah. Right, but like, to think about marriage. I don't know. I mean, they, they, they weren't adult. saying, like, we should get married. They were more like, is this a possibility in the future? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, I... That, that's yeah. what I figured. Yeah. The victim, Officer Prince, had just gotten off duty at 5.30 p.m. that day. And since Maggie's night shift hadn't started yet, they went to the park for a bit. Oh, I remember when I was young and in love. Oh, it was a jolly time. I the judge is married. Or that's great, been. Your Honor. I'm glad you're such a cheerful old man. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, I mean, Officer Bird had gotten Officer Prince present. You seem to know a lot about the defendant. Well, that's because uh, I'm her boss, and I've got to watch out for my subordinates. But even what she was going to give as a present? Isn't that going a bit too far? Hey, pal! Watch what you say! I know everything that happens under me! If someone so much as scratches their... I really don't need to know that much. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness! I agree. Even if this witness has a crush on the defendant, that should not be the point of discussion at this time. Whoa! Wait a second! Why are we talking about this? It's all your fault, pal! You're guilty, guilty, guilty! I should have you arrested! Oh my gosh. I think the good detective is about done here. It was something she had gotten over two months ago. Over two months ago? What would you have to plan to get for two months? Yup, she's a very considerate woman, pal. She pre-ordered a Switch for him. <laughs> so, what was this birthday present? She got him a glove. A glove. A single glove? Why would she only give him one? He's a big Michael Jackson fan, Your Honor. Oh! <laughs> um, actually, Your Honor, the glove in question is a baseball glove. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. A baseball glove. Officer Prince was a huge baseball fan. Oh, maybe she got an autograph or something. A baseball glove. Mm -hmm. Press fervor. Yeah. <laughs> press fervor. We, we actually do have to press fervor okay, on that. Okay, that's what so. I thought. Well, it's just a birthday present. If there are no further questions, Your Honor. Hmm. Witness, why do you know about this glove? Just now, I believe you said that the present was something she had gotten over two months ago. Yeah. Are you saying she went out and bought the glove over two months ago? Yeah, and then she slept on it so it, she could break it in. <laughs> nah, I'm nothing like that, pal. Then what is it like? She ordered it. It was custom made. Uh, 
custom made? The glove was custom made? Why would... Yup! That's what I said! He either has unusually large hands, unusually small hands, or six fingers. <laughs> or something One like of those free, nothing else. <laughs> no, well, I, why else would you get a custom made glove? Maybe you want it like Mario Galaxy themed or something, I don't know. Spray painting? Hmm, so the glove was custom made. Your Honor, I really don't see how this glove is related to the case! Yes, it would seem that there is little relevance. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Do you think this glove is really relevant to this case? Of course it's relevant. Of course it's not relevant. <laughs> hmm, I suppose it isn't really relevant. Th then, then why were you wasting this court's time with irrelevant questions? Uh, I was curious and got, uh, carried away, Your Honor? Witness, please ignore this airheaded lawyer and continue with your oh testimony. My gosh. Detective Gumshoe, please tell the court what you knew, or why you knew about the baseball glove. Of course it's relevant. I don't know where this will lead me, but... Of course it's relevant! That glove is the key to this whole case! Yes! Bluffing to the max! Now this is the Mr. Right I know! I'm so happy you're back, sir! I was wondering how long it'd take! This is great! Hmm, pressing people. It feels like I've done this before. As if I used this to squeeze information from even the most tight-lipped people. Very well. If you are that convinced, then let's hear some more about this matter. Actually, I brought the glove with me today. Oh. And? Why didn't you say so earlier? Hurry and show the glove to this court! Well, I didn't think it had anything to do with this case. Anyway, this is it, sir. It looks like bananas. It's, uh, <laughs> rather yellow, isn't it? It's like the Daffy, or not Daffy Duck, Daisy Duck feet. <laughs> now I can't unsee that, thank you. Baseball glove edits the court record. Officer Prince really liked the color yellow. And that's why you had to special order it? Yep, that's right. That, and one other reason. I think this court has heard enough. No! It is there clear that the victim reason. and the defendant were involved with each other. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Uh, we didn't see everything. No, we did that. Well, no, no, no. There's one last t uh, statement to press. Oh. Sorry, I just, I got to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I apologize to everybody. But this, this is why this editing is a thing. You're, you are bald in a little bit, <laughs> but you're stuck. You discussed what the defendant was going to give to her boyfriend? Well, I'm... Uh, <coughs> she, uh, trusts me, so... Boy, does he look proud of himself right now. <laughs> what is it this time? That testimony didn't sound like it had any contradictions in it to me. There just wasn't anything that really stuck out as odd. Yeah. I wonder what would happen if you tried to get more information from him. Get more information? Yeah! You know, like how they press people on those old cop shows, sir. So I should try pressing him, huh? I think this court has heard enough. It is clear that the victim and the defendant were involved with each other. Yes, that's correct, Your Honor! Now, if that is true, it brings up an important question. Was the name Maggie really written by the victim? I see your point, Your Honor. Detective Gumshoe, please tell the court a little more about the name on the ground. Yes, sir. Oh, I forgot he had free testimonies. Writing on the ground. I want to go to the first beat to be continued, okay. which is coming up pretty shortly. That's fine. We first looked into the handwriting, sir. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. Next, we checked the victim's pointer finger. We found that there was sand trapped under the victim's fingernail. There were also scratches on the skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. From this, we could confirm that the victim wrote the name with his right hand. Again, it's too- that's like so hard to do. Hmm. Yes, a perfectly logical conclusion. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. He had a Thank you, neck. Your Honor. He had a broken neck and <laughs> fell- Everyone is stupid. <laughs> from the wall! We first looked into the- HOLD IT! But can you really determine handwriting based on a sample written in sand? Heh, <laughs> this is why amateurs are amateurs. We're not a bunch of simpletons, pal. Scientific investigation is this country's, in this country, is actually pretty good. Hmm, I believe it's time to get back to the real point. Agreed, Your Honor. So what was the result of the investigation? 
Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's- HOLD IT! So, in the end, you couldn't confirm it. Hey, don't you look down on us! I told you, we're not a bunch of simpletons, pal! Everyone knows you can't find out everything you want with scientific investigation. I've never heard that before. Me either! Nor I. I never heard anything like that at the police academy, sir. Okay, so I made it up. Anyway. <laughs> Next, we check the victim's pointer finger. His pointer finger? You know, the one you're always pointing and waving around in people's faces. <laughs> Don't tell me it bothers you. Every time you do it, I have a mini heart attack. It's like you're trying to kill me, pal. In any case, you examine the victim's index finger, correct? I just realized Winston Payne is like the only lawyer slash prosecutor who never points with his finger. Yeah, you know why? Because he's a respectable. He's like the only normal prosecutor slash defense attorney. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we figured there should be something on his finger if he had writing if it had been writing in sand. Hmm. And the results? We found that there were sand trapped under the fingers. Oh, that is one of the worst feelings when you have sand under your nails. I hate it so much. That's why I like always have to take a shower after going to the beach. And what does that prove? Well, it proves that he did write the name with his own finger. Yes, which explains why there was sand stuck under his nail. I guess he's right. And there's more. There were also scratches on the skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. Scratches on his skin? Yup, you can't see them with your naked eye, but they're there. That is incredible! Sure is, that's the power of scientific investigation. You need a lot of heart on here. What? She did, sci she did scientific investigative photographer. Just investigative photography. I think you're thinking Emma Sky, who, oh, yeah, who did Sky scientific well. investigation. They're so small that we had to use a magnifying glass. Like, a really strong one. If Emma and Maya meet, that'd be cool. It's got that really scientific-sounding name. You mean a microscope? Yeah, that's it! We used one of those, and that's how we found them. I can't believe this guy doesn't know what a microscope is. And that you did after him. Are you absolutely sure? I believe in the power of science. Hmm, I wonder if my evidence is solid enough to counter this. Listening to this, you would think there was only one conclusion, that the name was definitely written by the victim. But don't you think that it would be really strange, sir? If Dustin really wrote that message with his right hand, do you think I would have gone through that much trouble to get him his present? The present? What about it? Okay, this is- this is kind of a little tricky. But yeah. If we look at the present, uh, she said there was one other reason that she was custom made. Can you tell why? And it's not the color. That's one reason. We can't? No. He likes bananas. It's, it it's like nothing to do with the color, Marty. Okay, um, <laughs> your scratches- why would she bother getting him the present? Does he, like, scratch up his hands really easily? Something like that? Okay, it's something that you can look at it. You can look at that picture and just be like, Oh! There's that. Which, for me, because I don't really know anything about baseball, it took me a while. I'm gonna turn my head upside down. Um... So, so, normally there's a big section in the middle for the big paw. Part. The big pop. The big pop part. <laughs> Can you pick a totally. pair with the big pop? I totally. Am I giving you a no clue? baseball here? The only times I've played baseball are like in the backyard. There's the weird red thing on the side. Nothing to do with there's the a, color. Um, no, but there's like the thumbs on the side, which is weird. No, um, the thumb is always on the side of the glove. Yeah, but it's like kind of weirdly placed. How so? Something. Um. It's a different. Try to visualize using that glove. What's interesting about that? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, trying, I'm trying to literally- you can't see this, but I'm trying to do it with my hands. I was gonna say it's a left-handed glove, but it's not. Is it a left-handed glove? You use the glove on your right hand, which means you throw with your left hand. So this is actually made for someone who's left-handed. 
Oh. For me, that took me forever because I'm because you're a lefty. I, I no, can't believe no. But when I play baseball, I use the glove in my left hand. Oh. Okay. Well, we're not baseball people. I feel better. Right. Okay. So yeah, he wrote it with his right hand, except he's not. He's left-handed. Objection. Yeah, that's kind of a tough one to get if you don't know baseball at all. I was like. I don't know, the, the looks like a banana. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, take a look at this. That's the glove, right? Could you tell the court what is special about this glove? That explains What's what special? Um, that makes way more sense. Never really thought about it, but, uh, it's really yellow. And that's about it. Yes, it's really yellow, but that is only one of its qualities. Huh? There's another reason why it's special. And what would that be? It's very simple. This glove is made for a left-handed person. Left-handed? Why, you're absolutely right. This glove is made to be worn on the right hand. That is why it had to be custom-made. I've never seen a bright yellow left-handed glove for sale, have you? I should have known that. Well, I only wore the glove on my left um, hand. Um, no. So, detective... Which hand did the victim use to write the name with again? That's easy! Look, it's obvious from this picture that it was his... W wait a sec. Don't forget that the victim was left-handed. Uh, ah! This is... that is... I mean, I object! Overruled. Mr. Wright, I would like to know what your line of reasoning proves. There's only one conclusion that can be drawn. A left-handed person could not have written a message with his right hand. Therefore, the person who wrote the name Maggie could not have been the victim. I don't know. I can write with both hands, but I'm weird. Order! Order! When you think about it that way, then yes. It is not possible that the name was written by the victim himself. But here's the thing. if you were, It's one thing if you're holding a pencil and using it. If you're writing in the sand, I could write with my right hand. Yeah. Like I That's what I'm saying. Pencil, it's harder to do right. my left hand, but I could. But yeah. that's not the one I would go to naturally, though. Okay. Then that means Maggie is. No! Is that possible? Mr. Payne? Y yes, Your Honor? The evidence the prosecution has presented has failed to prove the defendant's guilt. In fact, I believe you have proven her to be innocent. No! Oh, right, you did it, Mr. Wright! Well, I feel like I can breathe again. It seems that we have reached the conclusion. You did a fine job once again, Mr. Wright. Me, Your Honor? Ah, well, thank you, sir. See, you got complimented by the judge again. You're really good. And that's why you can't give up being a lawyer, sir. Are you joking? I'm more than ready to retire. I will now announce my verdict. This court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird. No, not yet! I mean, please, give me a few more minutes, Your Honor. Well, what is the meaning of this, Mr. Payne? The prosecution is not finished yet! What do you mean? We would like to call our next witness to the stand. What? Ooh, I hope the next witness is great. And a female. <laughs> and what did this witness witness? The moment the victim was pushed to his death! What's more, he saw the very face of the culprit. Dang it, it's a he. Oh, I bet it's what the, the dude. heck? I bet it's the dude who struck us on the head. And he's like, <laughs> I am fabulous. <laughs> Let me tell you everything. Order, order in the court. I believe a recess is in order. Afterward, we will hear from this new witness. I had a feeling that was a bit too easy. Hmm, I need more information. I'll have to see what I can find out during the recess. You have five minutes. I can't let my guard down. It's only going to get tougher from here. Court is adjourned for recess. Wow. Oh, so, oh man, the, to be continued is before the recess. That makes me sad. <laughs> oh well. That's it for today, everybody. Oh, that, that was not unexpected. Okay. That's a much better jingle than the first game. I like the first game. Do 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 do. That's such a boring and basic one. This one's way catchier. But, but it catchier. tells you, hey, yeah. The best. <laughs> They, in my opinion, they get better in almost every game, okay. with one exception. Okay. Anyhow, that's it for today. Tune in next time. I think I might finish up 
the case. Oh, I was like, <laughs> I, I thought you were going to say recess. I'm like, how long is this recess? Like, two, <laughs> two hours? <laughs> I don't know. It's, I, we could do like a really long episode or we could break it up into two episodes, basically. Oh, okay. Anyhow, look forward to that until we meet again, everybody. Have a great day and God bless. Bye.